Hey yo, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl and no goddess. How is everyone doing tonight? Oh, it's just uh just gonna do a quick general reading here. I got in the shower, I feel revived. You know, sometimes my collective, you just have to it's okay to do nothing sometimes. It's okay to just lay down, relax, regenerate your energy. Just do nothing. Worry about nothing. Because you can't always control everything. And in life, though, things your way unexpectedly, what you going to do? You just got to move with the flow. Go with the flow as it comes, right? Um, and that's basically what I did today. I just totally relaxed today. I did. I literally, like, <laughs> did nothing. And right before going to take a shower... Because in my unit, I have two bathrooms, two full bathrooms. And I was like, you know what? I was going to do both of them last night. And I was like, no, no. Because I had a big, I have a severe, I had severe OCD, like for real, for real. Like everything had to be like, the moment you get up, I'm behind somebody. And that was very stressful. That was stressful. And over the years, I've learned to let go, release, be free. Just flow, right? <laughs> so before I got to the shower, I was like, let me do the other bathroom, which is for my girls. Full bathrooms. And I was like, let me just deal with that, get it out the way. But anyways, I don't know. I felt like sharing that message because usually when I get this, when I start talking like that, it's for somebody else that's going through the same thing that just needs to release, let go, you know? Can't control everything. Don't try to control everything. Because what's meant to be is going to be. You know, yeah, so I don't know who needs to hear that, but I felt like sharing that. All right. All right. So let's see what the messages are for you guys tonight. Um, got a big weekend coming up. I have two events coming up. I'm actually booked this whole month, y'all. <laughs> booked this whole month. You know, when God, when you find what works for you, you just, when you start living in your life's purpose for real, for real, because what sometimes we do things thinking that's what, what we want, but when we fall back and really start living in our life's purpose, yo, doors of opportunity just keep opening. Things just start to flow. The money's coming in and it doesn't, it doesn't feel overwhelming and st like stress. It just feels like I got this because it's just your it's natural for you. That's where I'm at right now, okay? And it feels damn good. It feels good. Because I love doing what I'm doing right now. Besides tarot card reading. Tarot card reading for me is just, it's a part of my life's purpose. But I don't want to keep babbling. Damn, it's been three minutes already. <laughs> but, um, yeah. When I start babbling like that, that's messages for somebody. I need to say it. So I'm saying it. All right, so let's just pull some general energies here. <sighs> Guardian angels of the highest of the white light, I ask that you come in and protect my energy and my aura. Give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. So won't it be. So won't it be. Okay. Ashe. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Nine and a nine. Look at that. Nine, nine. It's like, whatever you're doing, it is bringing in this, create whatever your creative energy is, because this nine comes down to an 18, and that 18 equals right back down to a nine, honey. So it's like, whatever you are a master at, whatever you are creative at doing naturally, it's change. It's bringing change to your life. It's it's bringing. It's changing everything in your life. Okay, that red for me is like the root chakra energy, right? When you step into your passion and your your true authentic energy, it brings in that wealth of security. It brings in security, honey. It brings massive changes in your life. It brings forth your wish fulfillment. I feel like even your health changes, your mind changes, your stability, your foundation, your money, everything changes. And 
It just brings in so much abundance. Because like I said, we come back down to ooh, that 9 and 9 is an 18. That one is your new beginnings, new opportunities, your passion, your creativity. That 8 is that abundance, your strength, you know, your mastery. Mastery, right? So that's what's going on here. I like it, you know. And let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. All right. But anyway. Massive change. Brings in your wish fulfillment. You know, you attain all that you want in life. Ooh. What did I say? Look at this eight. Huh? Look at this eight. It's like a transformation. And it's in the blue. It's a transformation. It's like a death and a rebirth. I could be talking to a Scorpio here. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Um, eight threes is 24. Two and a four comes down to a six. Yeah. Okay. You have the strength to do anything and to create anything you want, baby. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. It's like you're a magician. Okay. Mm. Okay, it's like with this transformation here, my collective, okay. Some of y'all could have, um, Taurus, Virgo. Scorpio in your chart here, Cancer. Um, I feel like I'm here. I I got 99 problems, but a J1. So, <laughs> yo, it's like you see this death, this transformation right here, this eight right here you ended a lot of cycles with people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people who had you like in this eight of swords energy people who is in this victim mentality you know people who are who feel stuck because i feel like there's somebody around you or people who you've let go of that you walked away from since you made this huge change in your life you seen that 99 when i split the deck right yeah feel like some of y'all, yeah, these people are like, hmm. They're tight since you walked away. They're tight. This could be a Scorpio I'm talking to or a Scorpio you walked away from. Okay. Hold on. Let the cards fall. Let the chips fall. Yeah. Yeah, it's like since you since you let go, since you walked away, okay, ended this old cycle, you set them boundaries. You got mental clarity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are the very same people that was in competition with you, same people who would talk bad about you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you spoke your truth, honey. That's the fifth chakra for me. You spoke your truth. Okay? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. These are the same people that will betray you, stab you in your back. Mm -hmm. They would love to come and reconcile with you. With that five right here, yeah, they'll like to come and... I told you, whenever I'm drawn to this bottom number right here, yeah, they want to reconcile with you. They want to reconcile with you. But see, these people know that you're very intuitive. They know that you can see right through their BS. You're not having it. Nah, you're not having it. You set them boundaries. You're blocking these people. You're blocking them. Because you don't want nobody coming in with their inst uh, um, instability. You don't want anybody coming in with no type of... These are you no know, conflict. Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to come back to compete with you. You know, or they were in... You, these people were the people that you had to let go of. Because these people, same people was in competition with you. You feel me? 
You feel me? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're on your high priestess energy at this point right now. Yeah. You're on your high priest energy right now. You're fully aware of who you are since you walked away from these people. Okay. You tapped in, honey, to your higher consciousness. You know what I'm saying? You're deeply intuitive here. Yeah. And you set them boundaries. You spoke your truth and you set your boundaries. They don't like that. No, I told you this person. They want to come back. They want to reverse. They want to come back. But see, they're trying to come back with their conflicts. They're trying to come back with to repeat this old cycle. And it's, it's don't even waste your time. I'm going to tell you right now, which I feel like you're not, my collective. Because see, they're still coming in with their heart chakra blocked. These people have not grown. They have not changed. Okay. Okay, here goes the scorpionic energy again. They're going to come right back in. And they're going to have to put you right back here. We're going to go right back down to the pits. Death. Bring a death to your situation. An ending of all that you've worked for. Because they have not changed. No, they have not. No, they have not. They still coming in with their secrets. They just coming in for you to repeat this cycle again. You see that eight right here and this eight right here and this five? That's that conflict. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Keep your boundaries up. Uh-uh. 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 You see how you well balanced? You see the six? You're very harmonized. You're very balanced in your life right now. You're at peace. Continue to stand in your power and follow your intuition. Because now that you are stable, honey, the power is in your hand. Stay on your grind, boo. Follow your intuition, boo. Okay? Your spirit is already telling you what it is, my collective. All right? Stay on that. Yeah, stay on that. You're on your mastery, boo. There you go. That eight is your strength, your willpower. Took a lot for you to get where you're at. You feel me? It took a lot to get where you're at right now, okay? They still coming in with nothing to offer, whoever these people are. Like I said, they just want you to come back and repeat these karmic cycles. I'm going to tell you, they're going to come in. Some of them, is, it's, it's somebody who wants to come in and love bomb you. But I'm hearing, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. No, 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 no. I don't need your lies. I'm all set. I'm all set. I'm stable. With that two, that two right here, you're balanced within yourself. Uh-uh. No. No. They're going to act like they want to come in and cooperate with you and tell you how much they love you and blah, blah, blah. But that's a lie. These people could be family members. These people could be somebody who you have a family with, an ex-lover. No, you don't want that. They're still coming in with their secrets, their lies, and their manipulation. Okay? You already ended that situation. You did that. You know, that's the death. You already, you already went through your rebirth, your transformation. You already, yeah, you let go of the conflicts, the competition, and you set them boundaries. But they're going to want to come back. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Okay? And they don't like this. They don't like the fact that you're balanced with yourself. This right here, you're loving yourself. Okay? Yeah, you're feeling at peace with yourself. Okay? You manifest this harmony. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. See that 10 right here in the end? You're feeling absolutely complete. You worked on yourself. This is like an eight of pentacles. This is your mastery, my, my color. This is you. You're stable and you're on your mastery. Uh-uh. You feel complete within yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because they're coming with the ball. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're coming in with this unrequited love. They're coming in. There go the death card as I split it. There go the death. That's the coffin card. That's enough. No. No, 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 no. Some of them are going to try to come here acting like they want to offer you a gift. But be careful of what that gift is, though. Okay? Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Still no growth in this situation. I'm going to tell you that. Mm -mm. This person has not grown or these people, they have not changed. <sighs> mm -mm. All they coming back is with conflict. That's what I'm telling you. They coming back. They coming back with conflict. 
They're trying to end your situation here. They're pissed because you ended the cycle with them. And they can't seem to, it's like whatever they are doing right now, it's like a death. They can't, they, they, they want a transformation, but it's like, no, they can't do it without your energy, my collective. Okay? No. No. They miss your nurturing, loving energy. No, no, no. They miss your kindness. No. Mm -mm. What you got to say, Kipper? Tell us what's going on, Kipper. See, they, look at that. Look at that. They still coming in with something hidden here. Okay. They don't like the fact that you left them out in the cold, honey. Mm-mm. 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 What you got to say, Kipper? They hiding something. They hiding. Mm-mm. <laughs> wow. Kipper. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Finally, huh? They tight. I told you they tight. They're concerned. It says toil and labor. You work too hard, like I said. You put in that hard work. They got that Eight of Pentacles energy. This is it. You worked too hard to get yourself stable, grounded, okay, in balance, okay. Hey, little family room. This could be somebody of a family member or somebody who you lived in a, or lived together with in a home. See, this is it. This is what they're coming in with. Their worries, their concerns, okay. This person is heavily thinking about you. OK, because they don't like the fact that you ended this cycle with them. But see, rinse and repeat. That's what they're trying to come with with this 33. OK, they're just coming back in with their worries, their concerns. OK, no, nah, don't let this person come back in and stress you out. Some of them ain't got nowhere to go. They left out in the cold. They need a place to stay. Hmm. Anything else from Kipper Spirit? No? Yeah. No. Let's get this. I'm going to tear it up on here. Mm -mm. I don't trust this energy at all. You stay on your grind. Stay on your grind, my collective. Don't, don't. Stay grounded. Stay grounded. Okay? Let's follow your intuition. Stay grounded. Okay, you already feeling complete within yourself. This 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 is like a Leo energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. This person wanna come back because they need a place to stay. This could be an ex-lover, family member. Okay. Didn't I tell you I picked up that high priestess energy? Follow your intuition. There it is. There it is. Okay. This person is concerned. You know why they're concerned? I'm going to tell you why they're concerned. Because why? You're a divine master. You're a divine feminine. This person knows that they, they cannot come back to you with the bullshit. You can see right through them. Okay? You can smell their BS from a mile away. Look at this. Three of Swords. They're hurt. How they made you feel is how they're feeling right now with this Three of Swords. Okay? They know. It's like this person. And that's the true spirit says. Ace of Swords. I told you I might be dealing with an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right? But this person know how they dealt with you. Okay? And that's the truth. Yeah, they stabbed you in the back. They betrayed you. Ten of Swords is like the ultimate betrayal. Rock bottom. And that's where they're at right now. They're at rock bottom for, for fucking over a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. You feel me? Yeah. Okay? Told you they want to come in and make an offer. There go that Knight of Cups. But it's only a night energy. It's 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 just something to kind of sweep you off your feet for the moment. But it's going to go right back to where it started. How it started is how it's going to end again. Okay? No, you don't want that. Here you are. There you go, Empress. There you are. This person sees how independent you are. They see that you are, you are very abundant without them. That's what I'm saying. That abundance. You're on your mastery. Okay? Okay, yeah, they're only trying to come in and keep it strictly sexual. That's what they have. They still got this physical attraction, but this person does not have a change of heart. This person's heart is still coming in guarded, three of swords. Okay, now the one's offer that they want to make in, they want to make with you is just, just a sexual energy. 
okay, to my masculine or my feminine. There you go, my emperor. Divine masculine, divine feminine here, okay? So this person only want to come in and want to keep it strictly sexual with you. You feel me? But see, I told you, follow your intuition. Keep your guard up. Because you. it took you a while to get where you're at with that seven of wands, okay? Continue to keep your guards up. You persevered through it all. You found the courage to do what you had to do and your strength to get yourself stable and in balance and find completion within yourself, divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? Yes. Either one I'm talking to. They feel like a piece of shit now. Huh? Look at you. Look at you guys. The divine masculine, emperor, empress. Okay? And the high priestess. Y'all are very, very aware. Y'all got mental clarity now. Okay? No, don't let this person come in and try to bullshit. Which they can't. Put it like that. That's why they're concerned. That's why they're concerned. They know that you got your guard up. Okay? For some of y'all, this is a twin flame that fucked up. Okay? Your twin flame. Fucked up. Okay? They only want to come in and keep it sexual. You know that scorpionic energy is like that deep, sexual, very passionate energy. But it's like, nah, nah. Didn't I tell you they just coming in to keep you stuck? Hangman energy. This is where you're going to end right back here. Put your life on fucking pause. No, 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 no. Some of y'all might be dealing with an Aquarius, this person, okay? Yeah, they want to renew it with you. They hopeful. They hopeful, but they would not tell you they're coming back in with their conflict. This is what they're coming back. Five of Wands. Why? Because they're still in this, in this, they're still dealing with a lot of hurt. They're still dealing with a lot of mental anguish. And this person is intimidated by you. You know, they're still coming in with their insecurities. You don't want that. You don't want that. Mm -mm. You already went through that transformation. They're coming in with their Eight of Swords energy, still coming in with this victim mentality. You know what I'm saying? They're still coming in trying to make it seem like. It's your fault why their life ain't, they haven't gone through this change. That's not your fault. They got to do some healing here. You know what I'm saying? They got family issues. They got childhood wounds that need to be to, to be dealt with. But this is what they're coming back with. All this conflict. Didn't I tell you? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. But you see, you're right here feeling fulfilled within yourself. Nine of Cups. Okay. This person, I feel like some of them are drinking with that Nine of Cups energy as well, okay? They drink, they pass out. Yeah, because they drink themselves too, because they're concerned that's the only way that they could soothe themselves. This is how they soothe themselves, right? Because they're stuck. They're stuck right where they're at with that hangman energy. Yeah, they have no enlightenment, okay? Nine of Cups, okay? And you could you hear busy manifesting your new beginnings. And if this person come in, this is what they're coming in with the tower. Chaos. This is what they're bringing in to stop you on your, your new beginnings here. I told you. Okay? Because this is what you're busy manifesting. Eight of Wands total, baby. You're unstoppable. Okay? You're on that high priest energy, high priestess energy. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Continue. Continue. Okay? Let this person figure out their own shit. You are not a counselor. This is what they're coming back with, this tower, because they broke five of pentacles. I told you, I, t I picked it up right here. They right here, the, they left, they feel left out in the cold, okay? They're in poverty right now, okay? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that ain't your fault, though. Waste of energy, okay? All right, now. Let's see. With this Queen of Swords energy and Seven Wands energy, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Let me tell you what it is. You're too sharp. You're fucking too sharp, okay? And it's a head over heart decision when it comes to this person. That's what it is for you. You're standing in your power, okay? And this person knows that your strength, with this strength that you got right here, my collective, okay, you're, you're holding your grounds with that too right there. You're holding your grounds. You're stable. You're balanced. So you ain't going to allow anybody to come in and take you off balance, okay? You, you're too sharp for them now with that Queen of Swords in you. way too sharp. Sharply thinking. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. For some of them... um. This masculine, for some of them, got involved with this Queen of Swords who got them in hangman energy. Okay? All right? Yeah. Hmm. But here it is. 
Nine of Wands, they feel like a wounded warrior. They still coming in with their attachments and their addictions. That's what it is. Yeah, this person is coming in to try to. But I feel like with this Nine of Wands energy, it's like spirit is testing your faith. You're, you're being tested, but I feel like that's what this person wants to come back and do. But see, it's like your strength and your willpower is way up there now, honey. This person can no longer come in to test your faith. And that's why they feel hurt. They feel bound to their karmic situation, whatever it is they're in, okay, right here, this is it, continue to isolate your energy, honey, continue to allow your spirit guides to guide you, okay, allow them to do that, stay in that hermit energy and stay away from this person, because they know they don't have easy access to you anymore, okay, they know that, because you're too busy working hard, with that Three of Pentacles, you work too hard to get where you're at, like I said, with that Eight of Pentacles, three, you put in that hard work, okay, yeah, since you walked away from this person, you are here manifesting generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles, that's what you're creating. Generational wealth, okay? That's what you're manifesting, all right? Yeah, that's what you're manifesting. Didn't I tell you? There you go, my magician. There you go. You are on your mastery with that magician energy. You can manifest anything you want, your heart's desires, ever since you walked away from this person. And they know this. That's why they sit right here in this Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, nostalgia. Hmm? The best memories and the best time of their life is when you were in it. So now they're feeling burdened, okay? And that's the true spirit says. There it go. Justice is being served. Y'all could be a Libra, but they're getting their karma because it's like what you put out is what you get back. See them cycles? Look at them repetitive cycles. I feel like y'all been through this many a times with this person, right? But there you go. Continue to stand in your strength, my collective, right there. Because now you are manifesting the successful, happy life that you deserve. Ten of Cups, okay? And this is how they feel. Nine of Swords. Why? Because you were their true love. You were their true love. Now they want to come in and put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles on this relationship. Now they want to, okay? Now they got mental clarity, but it's too late. He or she for that. See, you got the M. Look at this. I can't make it up. So for my divine masculine or for my divine feminine, take it how it resonates. Both of y'all are out here. Okay. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Okay. Y'all right here on this king of pentacles. Very st stable status. You, you, you stable. Okay. Whatever. But you see that? For my divine masculine or my divine feminine, take it how it resonates. Emperor, empress. I feel like this is both for my divine masculine. This is definitely a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. Okay. You see this Queen of Swords? That's who want to come back to the Emperor. This one right here. This one right here. But she ain't got no emotions. You see this King of Swords? That's who want to come back to the Empress. But what they coming back with is just sexual energy. Not a Wands. Queen of Wands energy. That's all they want. All that she wants is another baby. She's gone tomorrow. All that she wants is another baby. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Some of them is trying to come in here to get you pregnant or uh, or, or going to try to um get themselves pregnant because they see that you stable. You a boss. Y'all a boss. They see that you successful. And believe me, they are watching you with that page of swords energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're trying to figure out, okay, how can I come in here and confuse you? Because they're trying to come back with their confusion, seven of cups energy. That's what they're coming back with all their illusions, okay? But I feel like what it is, they know that they're going to have to stay at a distance and watch you and see it only as a wishful thinking because you're not playing any games, okay? You're not playing any games. Like I said, you're unstoppable, baby. And they see you right here on this Ace of Pentacles, baby. You feel me? You stable. So don't let this person come in and fool you. Mm -mm. They're going to come in and talk about they want a commitment, but this is what they're coming back with their delays, Two of Pentacles, that's all they're trying to do, come back and delay you. But guess what? You already got the foresight. You already got the foresight. Three of Wands, you focused on your own opportunities and allow them to do the same, okay? Yeah, allow this person to do the same. Focus on their own, okay? So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, this is absolutely y'all reading and y'all karmics that want to come back, okay? Some of y'all got a family with this person. Some of y'all have a child or children with this person. Some of y'all divorced this person already. You did. Okay, yeah. And if you only set if you set boundaries with them and they're only able to see the child, then let them see their child or their children. But don't let them come in here and try to tell you, oh, 
Could we work on our relationship again? That Eight of Pentacles, I'm ready to put in the work. You know, I'm, I promise you, blah, blah, blah. No, because it's going to repeat this. It's going to blow up in your face again. You're going to repeat this cycle again. Because I feel like you guys tried numerous of times with this person. Because some of y'all, y'all got a family with them. You have children with them. You feel me? But nah, nah, no. They're going to come back and keep you right here in competition. You know, this person is hot-headed too. They're hothead. You feel me? So, no. Let them deal with their karma. Some of y'all divorced this person already. Justice is here. Law is here. Okay? No. No. They're heartbroken. They still can't get over you. Okay? And so, they want to come back and, and... Yeah, but they know they can't. They know they can't. Mm-mm. You too powerful. You too powerful. You working and tapped in on your own resources. You following your own self. Yeah. You too powerful with that. No. They're going to try to come in here and try to persuade you. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to keep you right here in this hangman energy. Okay? Because now that they see you shining, and with this Ace of Cups energy, you really loving yourself. This is self-love. Okay? Now they want to come back in here, and I told you they're going to try to love bomb you. They're going to try to love bomb you, but with that Nine of Swords, honey, this is mental anger. Sleepless nights. That's the concern. They stressed. Because they know they done fucked it, 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 it up. They stuttered all over this connection. Okay? They stuttered all over this connection. No, you're all set. And they know they can't. So there you go. Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups. Okay. You got a renewal on life. Okay. And this person is hoping. They're still hoping that they could come in and try to persuade you with that strength card. They really are. They really do. They really do think they could do this. But no. Nah, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let them deal with their karma. Because everything they thought was greener on the other side has blown up in their face. Justice and tower once again. Okay, you've gone through your awakening. No, you're all set. You ended that cycle. You're done. You're not doing it. Okay. With this family room, I feel like I feel like this person comes over. But they sit right there. You ain't coming up in my bedroom. No, you are not spending the night. Go about your business. Okay. I feel like you know what I'm picking up? <laughs> this person think they slick Rick. Okay, this person comes through. Oh, shoot. This person comes there. They're that judgment. You're absolutely you, you're, you're standing your ground in your decision. You made an absolute judgment and it's done. I made a final judgment. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I speak my truth? Didn't I make it clear enough for you? I'm not playing with you. We are not repeating this cycle. I did this with you many a times. Y'all tried with this person. Y'all did. Okay. Y'all both could have Scorpio in your chart, okay? Or air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Or, or fire, Leo, okay? Yep, or, or earth energy, or Taurus, either one, or Capricorn as well, okay? So I feel like what this person do, they come over. They say they want to put the kids to bed if you got young ones, okay? Mm -hmm. They read, uh, can I read them a bedtime story? Now, this is just a scenario, but this is what I'm picking up on intuitively. They come over and then they act like they fall asleep in the kid's room or on the chair with the kid. Uh, excuse me. Um, you need to uh, get up. I'm ready to get go. Get out. Put their ass out that house trying to fall, pretending like they're falling asleep. Can I just spend, I'm, just, I, I'm sorry. No, get out. Good night. Bye. Come back in the morning. Can meet them and bring them to school. Yeah. For some places, it started. The school already has started. Okay. This is the stunt that they be pulling. Okay. <laughs> but how are they going to try to get over on a chosen one? Stop playing with me. Okay, my collective? Yeah. Stop playing with me. Yeah. They, this is what they miss. They miss your nurturing, loving energy. This is what they miss. They miss your kindness. Because they ain't never met nobody like you. Okay, now they realize what they got. That's why they stress it. Nine of Swords. That's why they stress it. Okay, that's why they stress it. Yeah, yeah, because that cycle is over. I'm done. Goodbye. Look at them. They want to come back in and apologize. That's what they want. They want to come back in and apologize. But like I said, with that Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like you guys co-parent for the ones for the ones who have children with this person. Okay. You already shared half what you have to share half in this marriage. You shared your wealth with this person. Bye. Don't come back in here with your codependent energy. Goodbye. Because this is what they come back. Six of Pentacles energy. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. You shared that and you rebuilt that. You stacked your bread and started all over. And you got that new money and new opportunities. There you go. It took slow and steady growth with that Seven of Pentacles and patience. Okay. To get you on this Emperor energy. All right. Ten of Cups to build to create the successful life that you have now.
And I feel like you're doing much better ever since this person has been out of your life. Because they were stagnant. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. This person was in your life and it was definitely... And this person keeps testing your patience. I'm telling you, with that Nine of Wands energy, they're testing your faith. But you set boundaries on this person and they don't like that. They don't like that. But oh well, too bad, so sad. Okay? So... Ah, that's what I have for you, my soul subscribers. <laughs> this person think they so slick. But anyways, you're on to them. You're definitely on to them. They can't play with you. All right, so I wish you guys love and light. Bye.